So thank you, Governor, for your leadership. Um, you have really allowed us to be the leaders in distance learning. And I can't say it enough, because when I took this role, we were not the leaders, and we are now. So I have to thank the teachers, the administrators, the superintendents, principals, everyone, the parents, the students. Your work has allowed us to lead. So we will continue to work together as partners as we move forward. So I want to thank you. So I, with that being said, we know that our teachers have been asked to do so much in such little time. So I want to make a quick announcement. Cox, who has been a true partner during this endeavor, has offered to give three teachers $1,000 each. And I will announce who those teachers are. Get ready so you can hear your name on TV. Marissa Bianco from McGuire Elementary School in North Providence. Michael Carlino from Rogers High School in Newport. And Paula McMillan from Cumberland Hill Elementary School. $1,000 come in handy. You can use it anywhere you want um, during distance learning or when you go back to your classroom. Thank you for all the hard work. Um, quería tomar un momento para decírselo en español. Quería darle las gracias a la gobernadora por su liderazgo que no ha dejado, no ha permitido a nosotros ser los líderes en la nación entera en términos del trabajo que estamos haciendo a distancia. Quiero darle las gracias a los profesores, los maestros, los padres, los alumnos. Nosotros no podíamos llegar a esa meta sin el apoyo y la colaboración de ustedes. También quería anunciarle que Cox no, no dio dinero para dar a darle a tres maestros durante el estado, ya ustedes oyeron que yo le di el nombre, son mil dólares para cada maestro y queríamos tener este momento para darle las gracias a los maestros, si no lo han hecho, por favor hágalo. And I want to ask all families, if you haven't thanked your child or your children's teacher, please do so, please. So, as the governor said, we're getting ready to go back to school so a lot of our efforts are going to be working together to create tools that would help schools reopen safely. I want to make sure that I reiterate that. We were one of the states that made a decision to go out with time because we made sure that the safety of our students and educators were paramount for us as we made that decision. And we will continue to make that decision as we go forward. So come August 31st, we're going to be ready. We're going to provide a safe learning environment for everyone involved. So you have to trust that those decisions are being made from that place. And we're working very closely with the Department of Health. Quería decirle que nosotros fuimos uno de los primeros estados que cerramos porque pensábamos en la salud, pusimos la salud de los niños y los padres como primordial. Por lo tanto, nosotros vamos a seguir tomando ese tipo de decisiones y vamos a seguir trabajando con el Departamento de Salud mientras estemos trabajando para abrir las escuelas en el agosto 31. So, so I'm going to give you a couple of decisions that we have made that are important for this year's calendar. As you heard, we have a calendar for the entire state. I will tell you that it has been one of the most important decisions that we have made because it kept us on track in working together. La decisión que nosotros tomamos ahora fue tener un calendario del estado entero y esa decisión no ha, lo, no ha dado a nosotros la habilidad de trabajar en conjunto. We were able to work very closely together as we have this one calendar. This is the first time we've had this in the state of Rhode Island. I want to thank everyone that worked with it, worked with us to create that calendar. So here we are. All Rhode Island students and teachers will have winter vacation from February 15th through the 19th. Todos los eh, estudiantes en el estado de Rhode Island van a tener vacaciones desde el 15 de febrero al 19. All Rhode Island students and teachers will have spring break vacation from April 19th through the 23rd. Todos los niños y maestros van a tener las vacaciones de abril desde el 19 al 23. 
The following days will be statewide professional development days. This is important. We embed it in our calendar because we think that supporting our teachers to continuously grow and learn is part of our responsibility as a community so that we can continue to build the rigor in our schools. Para nosotros es sumamente importante que los maestros se sigan aprendiendo y se les dé el apoyo. Nosotros tenemos días en el calendario para ya eso mismo. So here are professional development days for teachers. But wait, that does not mean that your students will not get instruction that your children will not get instruction. Those are going to be virtual learning days for students. Eso van a ser días que los alumnos de ustedes o sus hijos van a seguir aprendiendo virtualmente. Los días son los siguientes. So we have September 21st, September 21, October 19th, el 19 de octubre, November 16th, el 16 de noviembre, December 14th, el 14 de diciembre, January 25th, el 25 de enero, March 15th, el 15 de marzo, April 12th, el 12 de abril, y el uh, May 17th, vamos a decirlo en Spanish, y el 17 de mayo. Eso van a ser días virtuales, dice que van a ser virtual days, but we are signaling that this matters to us, that the teachers to continue to learn, and that we take what we have learned and continue to move forward as a state. As the governor said, we are going to have a new and better system. That's what we are going to reach for and we're going to work for. And we've put that in our calendar to ensure that that happens. Nosotros vamos a regresar a las escuelas. Se va a ver muy diferente, pero nosotros vamos a seguir hacia adelante mejorando las escuelas. So, another exciting news. Snow days will still be determined at the district level, but those will be held through distance learning. I know, might be some disappointed children in there in the room um, but the the snow days the way we knew them before are gone we can do virtual distance learning so los días de nieve que se daban antes se va a ter, determinado por los distritos pero ahora se van a hacer la, se va a impartir docencia virtualmente so ya como nosotros lo conocíamos ya eso no va a existir statewide year for students will end on the 180th day of instruction which is expected to be around June 16th. Eh, las escuelas van a acabar después de eh, 180 días de instrucción, que se espera que sea como el 16 de junio. Statewide may choose to add additional days, so schools can add additional days. This is the minimum. Este es el mínimo. Su distrito puede agregar más días. Pero este es el mínimo que nosotros estamos requiriendo. This is the minimum that the state is requiring. While Wright encourages private schools to follow statewide calendar, those decisions will be made at the school level. Nosotros no, eh, estamos pidiendo a las escuelas privadas que también vea el calendario y trate de alinearse porque es sumamente importante. In addition to the calendar, Wright is working with the team at the Rhode Island Department of Health to develop a full range of school opening scenarios, which balance prioritizing health and safety and school communities with providing in-person instruction as possible. Nosotros estamos trabajando con el Departamento de Salud para asegurarnos que nosotros tenemos un plan de cómo vamos a ver todos los diferentes escenarios que se van a ver para el caso A, B, C, D, más o menos. So we're going to have different scenarios that range from in-person to if we have to go back to distance learning. So the plans have to be made for all those situations that may arise. Pero como sabemos que la salud va a cambiar, part of what the governor said that is extremely important, and I know as a teacher, we like to hold on to things. Um, flexibility is the name of the game. Right? We're putting all this out, but that's why we have a range of plans that have to be put in place because we don't know what's going to happen in terms of where we were going to be in August. Where we are today may not be where we'll be August 31st. So we have to plan for all of it. That's what's going to continue to let us lead as a state. Es importante que nosotros seamos flexibles porque ahora mismo le estamos dando esta información, pero todo puede cambiar de un momento a otro. So, um, as you saw this spring, we had the district submit plans to us. We are going to do the same now. 
Um, the governor gave you the dates of those plans, but it's really important. All the districts will be assigned a person from RIDE that will work. We've already started bringing small groups of superintendents and principals together to get feedback on the thoughts, initial work, because we are going to do this with the community at large. Districts have been asked to work with their local communities to help put plans together. Nosotros hemos estado trabajando porque el, cuando nosotros nos fuimos, eh, cerramos las escuelas en marzo. Una de las cosas que le pedimos a los superintendentes fue un plan y ahora le vamos a pedir uno también que tenga todos los casos, que nosotros tengamos el caso si tenemos que volver a educación virtual o que estemos todo en persona. Eso es sumamente importante, pero tenemos que ser flexibles porque lo que sabemos hoy puede ser muy diferente el 31 de agosto. So, I have to tell you that I am super excited because I have two kids in my house and I, you know, the only way I can thank my kids' teachers is thank you, thank you, thank you, all of you. Um, but they need their friends. They, they need to be around social setting um, that's safe. We all know that school is not just academics. So we're looking forward to working very closely and being transparent and open about where we're going. So we're excited to see you guys. It's an amazing, it's been an amazing year and you have risen to the occasion. Every single student, we are incredibly proud of you. Nosotros estamos muy orgullosos de todos los niños, pero ya es tiempo para nosotros regresar. Los ni la escuela no es solamente la, el, el trabajo académico, pero también el, la parte social. Ya estamos ansiosos. Y para los maestros de los hijos míos, muchas gracias. Thank you to all of you and the patients and being collaborative. When I came to Rhode Island, it's been a year now, people told me that I would never be a Rhode Islander. Ha, you're wrong. <laughs> I'm a Rhode Islander, so um, I can't think of a better place to be under such situation. Gracias a todo el mundo en Rhode Island. Yo me siento muy apoyada y me siento como parte de la comunidad. Muchas gracias.